We can, okay, so if you didn't hear, we need a ball. Doesn't matter what size, or if you don't have a ball, that's fine. Just roll up a towel, okay? Also, wait, 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 wait. Rolling pin or a water bottle? Yes, rolling pin or a water bottle? Your choice. And then yoga mat so that the rolling pin doesn't slide, okay? So those are the, I know, usually I'm not so crazy about stuff, but I wanted to do this class um, is geared towards uh, wrist issues and ankle issues, um, plantar fasciitis or carpal tunnel or just arthritis. Um, so I, that's why it was particular about what I wanted to use. But also, we're working our core, yay, for strengthening. So this is um, a specialized class. You're getting special stuff. So some of the stuff might be um, a little different. But follow along, we'll have some fun. Okay, so we're going to start with our normal warm-up. You know what? I feel like this needs to be here. Here we go. Yeah, I think that's good. We're good, right? We're good. All right, I'm gonna move this so I don't kill myself. Oh, we need a good sturdy chair. Like always, a chair. And also, scout it out. Find a wall that you can use later on in the class and still see me. So we actually need a wall too. That is a high list. Usually I don't have all these things, all these requests. I'm needy today, I guess. <laughs> all right, so uh, let's start it. Turn on some good music. Open up that chest, get in good form. Hopefully you have all your stuff that I just requested, that tall order. <laughs> All right, open up that chest, north, south, east, and west, front and back, shoulders back and down, draw that belly button in. Think about your shoulder blades. Are we here? Bad. Shoulder blades are in our back pockets. We're just warming up. So if you're getting your equipment, that is fine. Open up that chest a little bit more and make sure those shoulder blades are where? In your back pocket. You are not wearing them as earrings. No, they're back and down. So we're just tapping out. All right, are we ready? Yes, we're ready. So let's kick it out, kick it out. Open up that chest, draw the belly button in and kick it out. So you can, I don't have my shoes on, but you can have your shoes on for the whole class. It's up to you or you can take them off, but make sure that you have um, bottoms that have like gripping on it if you've got socks on, okay? So we need a ball, we need a yoga mat, we need a, a rolling pin. If you don't have a ball, use a rolled up towel. If you don't have a rolling pin, how are you gonna make cookies without a rolling pin? Come on. Get yourself a rolling pin, but if you don't have one, use a water bottle, okay? We have it all set. All right, let's go back with that kick. Go, kick it back, heel, and heel, and heel, and heel. Kick it back, press through that heel, and make sure you're not arching that back. So if I feel it in the back, I'm really arching. I want that belly tucked in. Tuck that belly as you kick back. Three more, two, and one, kick it out wide, kick it out. So if you just joined us, we need a ball, a rolling pin, um, and a yoga mat. If you don't have a ball, use a towel. If you don't have a rolling pin, use a water bottle. It's your choice, two more. One more, switch it to knees forward. Go, knees forward, knees forward. I like to reach for those ankles on this one, but it's up to you, give me six more. Five, four, your pace, right? Three, 
two, back, go back, go back, ankle. I like to reach, but again, that's up to you. Open up that chest and don't arch that back. Go, four, three, two, and one. Knees wide, go, knees wide. Oh, I like elbows. Elbows on this one, right? Elbows and elbows. Wide, give me six, five, four, next is side to side, three, two, and one, side to side. Go out and in, and out and in. Woo, so you're tapping and you're opening up. See those elbows are close to my side? Give me four more, three more. Last one, do that chicken, go, boom, and, and, and boom. Give me chicken, open up that chest. Shoulders, big shoulders on this one, right? Oops, I messed it up. <laughs> Give me four, three, two, and one. Turn it out. Go out and in and out and in. There you go, out. Make sure you pivot on that foot so that foot pivots. Pop those toes up. So that that heel can pivot, it's so important when you are um, doing, you know, household chores. You want to make sure that you don't put stress on that knee by not pivoting when you turn. Pivot that that heel, and that will save that knee. Give me three more, three and in and out and in. Give me two. Woo! Give me one, and we're gonna do the whole set again. Ready, kick it out, go, open that chest. Maybe you're gonna reach, it's up to you. It's up to you. So if you just joined us, we need a ball or a towel and a rolling pin or a water bottle. So those are your choices and a yoga mat. Give me four more, kick. Three more, kick, two more, we're gonna go backwards. Back, kick, back, go, reach, and kick, and reach, and kick. So you see how we expanded it a little bit. Your range of motion, you can come up if you want, as long as you're not arching that back. Don't arch that back, tuck that tummy. Three, two, go wide, ready, go wide. Wide, wide, wide. Your range of motion with shoes or without shoes, it's up to you. We need support on our feet, right? So shoes are always a good idea. Even when you're stretching, three more, two, and one, bring it to the knee, go. Oh, I'm going ankles. Let's go ankles. You could reach if you want. It's your choice. Four more, and then we're gonna go back. Three, two, one, go back. Go, reach and reach and reach and reach. So you don't have to go up, it's totally up to you. Then I'm going behind, make sure that says yes with your back. Modify, modify, three more, two, one, go wide, go elbow, 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 go wide, go wide, open up that chest, draw that belly button in. This is priming your back, your shoulders, your neck. So make sure they're in good alignment. Four, three, two, and one, side to side, go, side to side side to side, there we go, woo, we're warming up our muscles, oh, so you go as slow or as fast as you want, right, because this is just a warm up, getting our blood flowing, give me four more, three, two, and one, back to chicken, go, <laughs> I know, it seems so crazy, 
but it really gets those shoulder blades. It's hard for me to go this slow. Woo! So usually I'm doing this a little faster. So I always get out of sync. <laughs> Five. There we go. Four. I'm in it. Three. Two. Pop that heel out every time. Last one. We're going to add here. Bring it out and over. Out and in. Bring it out and over, out and in, go out and over, out and in, go out and over, out and in. So we did this, this is our second set, right? We are just adding, whoops, that little overhead, just to get a little bit of stretch in there, Woo. over and in. Bring it in, out, pivot on that heel, and then pop that heel out. Woo, out, see how I pivot? Out, pivot, pivot, out, and bring it back in. Pivot, out, bring it back in. You got two more, out, and over, and out, and in. Out, and over, and out and in. Last one. Out and over and out and in and out and over and out and in. Good job. Shake it out. Nicely done. We got those two sets in. Ooh, we're a little late today. Okay, that's all right. Um, hinge at the hip and then flat back. Flat back, bend those knees. Bring it down, flat back, round up. You can do this in a chair. Round up one vertebrae at a time. Roll those shoulders. So we're going to be doing a lot of these exercises in a chair. I know it sounds crazy, but you are definitely using that chair. So if you've got a hard chair, maybe put like a soft, maybe put a towel on it. It's up to you. I just don't want you slipping off the chair. Roll up one vertebrae at a time. I think we got everybody. We need a ball or a towel. We need a uh, rolling pin or a water bottle. Marianne had a really good idea using a water bottle. Okay, now straighten out those legs. Roll down so that your back is round and just wiggle those fingers. Yes, yes, yes. You can do this in the chair also, right? You don't have to be standing. It's a good stretch. Shake it out. Woo! Nice. Okay. So let's get on into it. We're just using the chair right now. No ball. So here's my chair. I am going to grab my ball just because I'm going to use it later. But there you go. And when you guys weren't here, I literally put my ball right here. And I looked all over the house for it. <laughs> I couldn't find it anywhere, and it was under the chair. All right, I'm going to make sure that I can see. Can you see me good? Yes, OK. OK, so here we are. Draw the belly button in. Contract those abs. You're at the edge of the chair. Edge of the chair. Come off that tailbone. Look at the difference, OK? So here I am. I'm on my tailbone. This is how we normally sit. Bad, but it is what it is. Draw the belly button in. Come up off that tailbone. Do you see how I just grew a couple inches? Yes? It's magical. Look, this is bad. I'm on my tailbone. Now I'm coming up off my tailbone. That's where you need to be the whole time. Off the tailbone so you don't put stress on that spine. That's bad. Okay. So we're on the edge of the chair, not to edge. Be careful. Draw the belly button in. You can use the bottom of the chair. Draw the belly button in. Squeeze those glutes and give me a single up. Squeeze. You are, so you're lifting your le uh, left leg and you're squeezing your left glute and your right heel is pushing. Push into that floor. You're like, oh my gosh, Lisa, this is so easy. Ha! Remember what you just said. 
remember you said it was easy because I heard you. <laughs> You're going to regret that because this gets hard. This is where you want to feel it all through here. If you feel it in the knee, press through your heel a little bit more and engage that glute. You want that glute engaged. That's supposed to be firing up. So squeeze those butt cheeks together. There's a lot to this. So you should start feeling fatigue all through here. Give me five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Alternate. No rest. No rest for the wicked. No rest. Draw the belly button. Oh, you can hold on if you want. Contract those abs. You're up and down. Woo. Up and up. And up, and up. Draw that belly button in a little bit more. Get off that tailbone. Open up that chest. You've got a, a rope pulling your head up towards the ceiling. Come on, crunch, blow it out. Blow it out. Take a breath in between. That would be difficult if we don't breathe. Make sure you breathe. But tuck that tummy the whole time. Give me five, four, Three, two, and one other side. Go up and down, up and down. Your range of motion, your speed. The slower, the better. You're not putting any, you're not resting at all. You're tapping the toe and coming right back up. No rest. Draw the belly button in, squeeze those glutes. You're resting this side though. See, or you're pushing through that heel, squeezing that glute, extra, 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 come on. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Alternate, no rest. Come on, bring it up and down, bring it up and down. Draw the belly button in and open that chest, squeeze those glutes, give me eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, crunch that lunge, two, and one, just aside. Go left, double, up, double, up, double, up. Push through this heel, go up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. So maybe you're going a little bit higher. Maybe you feel this in the knee though. Squeeze your glutes a little bit more and maybe you don't go so high, okay? Or you can support the knee a little bit, right? This isn't cheating, you're still using. You're just supporting that knee a little bit. All right, give me five more, go. Up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. If you wanna do the standing, you're more than welcome. You can do it standing instead, but oh, this is a good workout. I'm dying here. Give me two more. One more. Switch it out, other side. Go double up, double down. Double up, double down. Draw that belly button in. Push through this heel. Squeeze those glutes. Contract those abs. And breathe. Oh, I'm feeling this. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Woo! Good form. Good form. Don't roll that, that back. Make sure you're contracting that ab and make sure you're pushing through this heel. Woo! Doesn't look like much, but it is. You got eight more. Come on, you got this. Seven. <laughs> no crying. <laughs> There's no crying in baseball. Come on. Five. <laughs> Four, uh, three, two, up, and one. Nicely done. Up and down. Up and up. Up and up and up and up. Come on, 12 more. Draw that belly button in. Now this feels easy, right? <laughs> eight more, eight, seven. Six, five, crunch it out, squeeze those glutes. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it back. So we're gonna lean back a little bit. Maybe you're even touching the back of your chair. And you can see how I'm here, right? 
my back is nice and flat. You can put the ball right here for some support. You're gonna bicycle. Now, maybe you wanna get on the floor for this. It's up to you. But this is super hard in the chair. So your choice, draw the belly button in, contract those abs and squeeze those glutes. Open that chest up. You're bicycling, bicycle. Really contract the belly button towards the spine, right? Pull it in, bicycle, bicycle. Or you're on the floor, woo! Or you're here. You can be here, you know, like bicycling, I guess. Not like just bringing your legs up if this bothers your back. All right, keep going, keep going. Go, 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 go. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. So you can keep that leg down or you can bring it up and you're tapping. 16. 15, draw that belly button in, contract those abs. Make sure you're off your tailbone. Yes, give me 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bring it down. Roll the back, arch the back, good job. Roll the back and arch the back. So your range of motion and your speed. That was a little fast, sorry. All right, draw the belly button in, contract those abs, bicycle. We got this, draw the belly button in a little bit more, open up that chest a little bit more. Ooh, it can be a recumbent bike or it can be a regular bike. It's up to you. That's what I wanted to say earlier. Yeah, so we're like a recumbent bike. Draw that belly button in. Who knew you were going to be on a recumbent bike today? See? We don't need anything special. Just a chair. Ooh. If this is getting tired, take a rest, right? Your choice. Draw that belly button in a little bit more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So you're going to bring this leg up and this leg is straight. So opposite leg, up and down, press, press. Draw the belly button in, contract those abs. Maybe this one is down. It's your choice. But contract that belly, squeeze those glutes. Woo! You got eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Tap it out. Tap and tap. Woo! Heel tap, heel tap. So extend. Heel tap, heel tap, heel tap. So it's kind of like a recumbent bicycle, but really slow. We're kind of combining the two moves. Give me. 12 more, eight, seven, six, draw that belly button in a little bit more, five, four, modify, maybe you're just doing regular upright, three, two, and one, bring it down and wide, so now you're wide, bring it wide, you can go a little bit lower, right? That belly goes in between the legs, so that works out perfect. Bring it in and arch. Woo! Slowly lower, watch, be careful, especially if you've got a little heart rate going. And down. Nice. Okay, so I'm gonna move this way because we're gonna grab the ball. We are on time again, yay. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna grab the ball. So we're just gonna start with the ball squeeze. You're at the edge of the chair, yes. Draw the belly button in. <laughs> squeeze the glutes. Squeeze those glutes. Are you there? Good posture, shoulders in your back pocket. Put them in your back pocket, don't let them out. Squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. If you have your your towel rolled up. 
tube it and then roll it up. Like it's almost like the shape of a ball, right? And squeeze and release. You're not on your knees. That ball is not touching your knees. It's in further. Yes? So keep going. See how it is? It's not touching my knees. Yay. Okay, squeeze and out. And again, off that tailbone. Give me eight, seven. Always have resistance. Don't release all the way. Six, five, four. We're going to go to a pulse. Three, two, and one. Pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nicely done. Draw the belly button in. Contract the abs. You're going to lean back a little bit again into that recumbent position. And you're going to lift and down. Lift. So you're squeezing that ball too, right? Draw the belly button in. This is super important. Don't arch that back. Maybe you don't use that ball and that ball is supporting your back. Or a pillow is supporting your back on this one. If you feel it in your back, it's too much. Maybe only lift one leg and hold the ball. Lots of options, but the back should not feel any pain. All right, we're gonna go eight, you can hold on to the chair. Seven, six, curl that tummy in. Oh, squeeze those glutes. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nicely done, bring it down and lift so again draw that belly button in squeeze the glute maybe put a pillow behind you or another ball up and down doesn't have to lift too high notice i'm not lifting that high contract those abs and squeeze those glutes that's the key this is ab work and ab work is so important but it's also like thigh quads the front of your Glutes, super important. That's all included in the core. Oh, you should not feel this in your back at all. If you do, modify. Modify, modify. Give me eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, nicely done. Let's do that again. Go, squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, and release. Come on, off that tailbone, grow a little. Yes, a little higher. We all want to grow. Squeeze, release, shoulders back and down. Push through those heels. Push. You feel how when you push through the heels automatically those glutes engage yes yes eight more eight release seven six five try and pop that ball squeeze 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 four three you're gonna have legs of steel two and one pulse it out go eight seven six five four three two and one nicely done lean it back draw the belly button in really core up you can be on the floor for this bring it up and down tap those heels tap those heels or the toes it's up to you you don't want a charlie horse in your calves so if you feel it coming out in the calves relax those feet draw the belly button curl in right curl in that belly button is coming in don't use the back muscles. Squeeze your butt. Use the glute muscles. Use the quad muscles. The back always says, I can do it. No. Yes, we all know you can do it back. But it's not your job, right? <laughs> do your job. You're overworked. Give me eight. Down. Seven. Down. Six. Tap. Five, four, three, two, and one. Remember to modify. Don't go through it. There's 
700 ways to do this. Modify, you don't have to use a ball and you can raise one leg at a time, right? Your choice, squeeze, draw the belly button in, squeeze. Make sure I'm not using my shoulders, I'm not using my neck, so it's all here. Butt power and belly power right now, come on. You can hold on, but don't be here, yes? Yes, good. Give me nine, eight, seven, six, pull it in, squeeze the butt a little more. Yes, five, four, three, two, and one. Nicely done. We don't need this ball anymore. Put it away. Woo! What we do need is a wall. So I got my handy dandy wall right here. Woo, you feeling this? I'm feeling this. Okay, um, you got your wall. You are, we're gonna slow it down a little bit and this is a stretch for, especially if you have arthritis or if you have any type of issues like through um, your bicep or the forearm, sometimes you can come in here and feel it and massage and you'll feel some tender areas. If you've got a tender area, get in there and actually rub where it's the most tender. Be gentle, but try and pinpoint the area that's the most painful, and then you just hold and press. And you don't have to have your hand on the wall. You can be here. A lot of times it works really nice when your hand is down. And you just find that area, find that area. A lot of times it's up through here, through here, shoulder, you know, you'll find that tenderness, it'll be different and it'll move. If it moves to a different area, you know you've got that other area, now you gotta work on a different area. So rub, rub, rub. I always tell people when they start feeling pain, rub, 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 rub. Okay, <laughs> so. Um, fingertips up, unless it's your spouse. If he's a pain, then, you know, <laughs> what you gotta do? <laughs> All right, um, you are going to have your fingertips up towards the ceiling. Capiche? Yes? Our, the, the wrist is not higher than the shoulder. So if you're up here, bring it down. That wrist cannot be higher than the shoulder. Now, this is the part that's gonna be different for everybody. You're gonna come out and come away from that wall. You're gonna feel that stretch in different areas, but it's a stretch. So you're not tight, you're not pushing on the wall, you're not strengthening, you relax into it, and you're feeling that stretch, yes? Good. Now we're gonna turn it into a strength. So take a breath, come out of it, and then we're going to push on that wall into a push-up. The heels come off. Now, depending on how far you wanna go out, that's um, how you modify. The closer I am to the wall, the, hard, the easier the push-up. Sometimes it's harder though because you're modifying. Oh, my bunny just hopped. I have a bunny outside my window right now. It's so cute. All right, keep it going. <laughs> Sorry, I love the bunnies outside. They're so cute. I'm sure you guys have bunnies too, right? Give me four more. Four, three, those heels pop up. You're stiff as a board. Don't arch the back. Draw that belly button in, last one. Okay, fingertips forward. Yes, fingertips forward now. Remember, don't go higher than that shoulder. Check it out, pivot. Feel that stretch. Can you imagine if you have like rotator cuff issues, carpal tunnel, how, what a good stretch this is. But you gotta go to your range. Like, I don't have issues anymore. I used to, really bad. So I don't have issues. So I can go pretty deep into it now. My husband had a hockey injury. 
this thing cured him. It was, it's so nice for certain ailments, but you gotta be careful. You gotta talk to your doctor, make sure, you know, something like this is good. If it doesn't feel good, then don't do it, right? All right, come back into it. Let's do those push-ups. Go. And out. And in. And out. There we go. Draw the belly button in. Contract those abs. Squeeze those glutes. You got this. Press through it. No wing dings. I don't want chicken wings on this one, right? Elbows are not out. Elbows are tight to your body. Tight. You, maybe it's too easy. Step out a little bit more. No butts out. No butts about it. No butts out. <laughs> I cracked myself up. Give me four more. <laughs> that was such a dad joke. Two more. One more. All right, fingertips down. Woo! Make sure you're lower than your shoulder. And then just come out. Your range of motion. My cat is like, I want to play with the bunny. She's looking out the window right now, like so excited about that bunny. I think she thinks they're friends. Or not. <laughs> Give me five. Should not bother you. This should feel like a really good, nice stretch. It should be relieving. Three, relax the shoulders, relax the back. Two, and one. Bring it in. And give me those push ups. Come on, elbows tight. Give me eight. Down. Seven. Down. Your speed. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, no wing dings, and one. Nicely done. Bring it up. So now you're going to go opposite, right? Opposite arm. Fingertips are up, up towards the ceiling. Come out, and then feel that stretch. That arm should be as straight as possible, but if you need to bend it, that's okay. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, get ready for those push ups. Come on. Eight, up, seven, six. Heels pop up. You're stiff as a board. Contract those abs. Give me four, three, two, and one. Nicely done. Go out. Fingertips towards the wall. So they're like this, right? Like this. See that? Yes. Not above your shoulder. Bring it out. Ooh, that feels good. Try and keep it as straight as possible. Four, three, relax into it. Two, and one. Nicely done. Go. Eight, seven, Six, you got this. Come on, draw that belly button in. Don't arch that back. If you feel this in your back, you're probably arching. So draw that belly button in a little bit more. Four, three, two, and one. Nicely done. Bring it down. Fingertips down. Down, 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 down. And then come out. I think I'm double jointed, honestly, because I could probably wrap around like a pretzel on this one. So I feel like I'm definitely double jointed. <laughs> or like I don't even feel a stretch right now. This is odd. Three, I never noticed because I never turned this much. Two and one. Nicely done. Woo! I did not forget about those push-ups, people. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four. Elbows in nice and tight for two more. One more. And an extra, because I love you guys. Relax it out. 
<laughs> shake it out. Shake those wrists out. That was a lot on the. Do you feel that? Go all the way up. See? Fingertips to here. It's all connected. Actually, it's more connected than that. Okay. So now we're going to um, get your, um, your, either your water bottle or your rolling pin, which I don't know what I did with mine. And your mat. Oh, there it is. Okay. So you're here. You're going to roll that mat next to the wall. Or you can be in with a chair. It's up to you. But I like that wall because you can really, like, roll it towards the wall. You might want to take your shoes off for this. It's up to you. Um, you'll get a better stretch for sure. I'm going to cut this down because you really don't need to see me. And I feel like we're going to go. Maybe you can see me a little bit better here. Okay. So you're going to roll. You're going to roll this back and forth. So what I'm, you know how I told you about massaging your arm and your wrist and like your shoulder and finding that tender spot? Well, this is the same thing. You're trying to find a tender spot. Um, so you're going all the way from the padding of your, like the top of your foot, you know, like the bottom, but before your toes start, that padding to your arch, to like your heel. So I gotta start a little bit further, to your heel. And then come back. And then you feel that. So what I like to do is like I turn my foot in a little bit and I get the inside of that arch. Holy guacamole with the side of hot sauce. Do you feel that? Maybe you don't feel it on the inside. So you're pushing on this. Hopefully that water bottle is withstanding. All right. So. Now you're going to push on the outside. You're going from the heel. If you have heel spurs, do not go on the heel because that's going to hurt. But you want to stretch because heel spurs go hand in hand with plantar fasciitis. And that's all about the tightness. So you're rolling. If you feel a lot of pain somewhere, don't go so hard into it. You want like medium stretch. It's a stretch pain. You know the difference. It's not, oh, that's my joint saying, ow. It's a muscle saying, ah. <laughs> that's a difference. All right, good job. So you're gonna switch. You're gonna press into it again. You're going from the pad, like the top right here, to like right through your heel, but a little bit before that heel. Capiche? So it's from here to here that I'm rolling. So we're on the other foot, you're pressing down. I'm gonna come back a little bit further. There we go. So, oh, so now I feel that more towards my heel. On this one, I was fine. I didn't have any problems. You can even do this seated in a chair, but I feel like it's a little harder to actually feel it. So you're push, 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 push. Oh my gosh, I felt that all the way up to my hip. That shot up right to my hip. So I'm rolling, rolling, rolling. I'm telling you guys, I've broken my feet seven, eight times. I've broken bones in my feet. I'm a klutz. And um, this has saved me. I'm not saying that this is for everybody. Talk to your doctor about it. Um, but for plantar fasciitis, it's really a good, they sell products. Okay, now go on the inside, go on the inside and get that arch. So you're kind of turning in. So you can, you're turning your foot in and you're pushing on the inside. This is a product that they use for something like this. This is a little softer, but it's got like spikes, but it's soft spikes. 
And um, this gets into that fascia, which is like the webbing around your muscle. If you've ever like cut into a chicken or a steak and you see that like webbing, that's the fascia. You know, that thin layer of like mysterious stuff on the chicken. <laughs> that's your fascia. So you're actually getting into that and you're also getting into a muscle. You're really kind of working those little areas out. Now go on to the outside, not too much. And you rely on the pressure that you feel is comfortable for your body. You're just rolling. So everybody's gonna be different right now. Don't think, oh, am I doing this wrong? I can't feel it. No, that's great. That means that you don't have issues there. If you don't feel any um, pain anywhere, awesome. That's, oh, see, now I just found a big one. So the, my other foot was more towards my heel. On this one, I feel it more towards my pinky. So, you know, you just, it just depends on where that tightness is. But this feels so good. All right, nicely done. Okay, you're gonna roll that roller all the way to the wall. It's to the wall. Butt it up to the wall. Take your toes. If you're in shoes, that's okay too. You can still do this. You're gonna put your toes and just stretch your toes. So the bottom of your foot is on the floor and your toes are like this. Like these are my fingers, but pretend they're my toes. They're like this. So it's gonna be your range of motion. Maybe your toes stretch a lot. Maybe they only stretch a little. So just be careful. It's just stretching the bottom of your foot and your toes. Okay, switch it out. Bring it in. So we just switch. Just relax into it. It's nothing crazy, guys. You can also do this in a chair and then just Put your toes on the ground and lift that heel up just to give a little stretch. Remember to wash your, <laughs> your uh, cookie roller out, your, um, yeah, before you make cookies. All right, relax it out. Nice, wiggle those toes. We don't need this anymore. We don't need it anymore. Okay. That was crazy, right? But I wanted to get that in so that you can see what you can do. Woo! Okay, so we're gonna need um, the chair. You can get your yoga mat out of the way unless you wanna do these things on the floor, but I'm gonna show you all the chair today. I thought I'd mix it up. So first off, you're gonna open that chest up. And you're gonna bring, you can wear your shoes for this, it's up to you. So if you wanna get your shoes on, that's fine. If you want to um, go shoeless, great. Make sure you don't slide in your socks. So take those socks off, baby. Um, okay, so you're um, opening up the chest, you're drawing the belly button in, and you're just reaching down. So straight legs, straight and straight. You're gonna come down. I like to use the chair like this. And hinge down, feeling that stretch all the way up. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it up, bring that right foot back. And then press through that heel so the right leg is straight and the left knee is bent. And we're stretching that back calf. So you should feel that in the back calf. Make sure the toes are forward and you're holding on to that chair. Or you can even hold on to a wall for this. Your choice. I feel like when you go down though, I feel like it's a good option to have that chair. Okay, straighten it out. Both legs are straight. Hinge at the hips and bring it down. So your range, maybe you're holding on to the chair. Maybe the chair is here, it's, it's totally up to you. Whatever you feel comfortable with. 
take up wrap, bring it back again, press through that heel, toes are forward, check it out. Ooh, mine's not. Bend this knee and bring it in to a calf stretch. So you should feel it from the knee down. Keep this knee bent. Go as deep into it. Make sure that heel is not popping up. And the toes are forward. Nice. Bring it up. Other side. So we're going to take that front leg back. No, front leg back. And you're going to hinge at the hip. Both legs are straight. Hinging at the hip. Hold on to the chair. Feel that stretch. Maybe you're reaching to the floor. It's up to you. This is really good for um, sciatica. But you go your range. You're stretching the IT band, which is on the outside of the leg. It's the hamstring. Bring it up. Part of the hamstring. Um, it's around the hamstrings. Um, all right. And then you're going to bend this back knee. Sorry, bend the front knee. <laughs> Straighten out the back knee. Toes are forward and bring it in. So your range, your range, your range. Keep this leg straight. Keep that heel on the ground. Make sure that toe doesn't turn out. You should feel that from the knee down. Tuck that tummy. I was arching. Make sure you tuck that tummy. All right, bring it up, straighten. Hinge at the hips, bring it down. Take a breath, bring it up. Um, bend that front knee, bring it back. Toes are forward. We're going back into that calf stretch. Make sure you're not arching your back. Maybe you're holding on to the bottom of the chair. Maybe you're holding on to the top. Maybe it's here. Whatever works for you. Maybe you're on the wall. And take a breath. Good. Bring it out. All right. We're going to work on the back right now. So I like to use the bottom of the chair, but it's up to you. You can also sit in the chair as well. You're going to step back and really think about straightening your legs and straightening your flat back. So flat back, as flat as you can get it. And then come up out of it and go right back into it. This time, bend your knees. Bend your knees. And bring it more to your back. So we're stretching out the back a little bit more. Nicely done. Bring it in. Straighten those legs. Bring it back. Now it's a whole, you know, it's a whole body. It's your legs are nice and straight. Your back is as flat as you can go. And you're going as deep into it as you want. Come back out. And then bend those knees and bring it more to your back. Take a breath and bring it in. Nice. Now you can sit in the chair for this one if you want. You're going to go wide and you're going to stretch out the inner thigh. So you're going to come in and you're bending your right knee and straightening that left. And you're coming in. So feel that stretch. I like to turn my foot out just a little bit and then open up that chest a little and pull away from that inner thigh with my pelvis. That deepens that stretch. You can be here, right? You can be here. Whatever you need to do, you can be here. You know, whatever works for you. All right, bring it to the other side. Make sure you're stable, though, on that. And you also could be seated in the chair bending over. So your choice. You want to get that inner thigh so you can bring it out. That foot is on an angle. This foot, see, is on an angle. 
and you're opening up, this is where you want that stretch, that inner thigh. So you go to your range, but I really like that chair because it gives you such great support. And again, you can be seated for this one. Nice, bring it in. All right, roll up one vertebrae at a time. We're here, we got one more standing. All right, draw the belly button in. You can hold on to the bottom of the chair or the top for this one, or you can be seated. It's your choice. So you're here. This back heel pops up, okay? Let me go back a little bit so you can see. Um, back heel pops up. This is for the hip flexor. Knee is bent, and then you pelvic tilt forward. So like you are you got a ball, you're filling a ball, right? Tuck that tummy in, you see the difference? My knee bends a little bit more up and over. Take a breath, bring it up, and then bring it down and open. So you're holding on to that chair. If you're in the um, chair, you're out of that hip flexor, right? It's all about the shoulder right now. Bring it down, bring it up, go back to that hip flexor. Round two, pelvic tilt forward. Bend the knee, open. Think about that hip flexor. It's right on that hip, right? It's got hip in the name. <laughs> it's right where your quad, right above your quad. So the quad will feel a stretch too. Bring it down, straighten out those legs, and open. Feel that stretch. You go as deep as you want with this. Bring it down. Nicely done, roll up, and let's do the other side. So hip flexor, bring that leg forward. Make sure this heel is popped up. See how my heel on the back is popped up? That's super important. Knee is bent, knee is bent. Pelvic tilt forward. When you're ready, I'm gonna hold on higher. Up and over, and remember, you can be here, seated in the chair. You can be like this too. You just have to make sure that you're pelvic tilting forward. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, take it out. Straighten those legs. Bring it down. Open up. Open, open, open. Take a breath. You go as deep into it as you want. Round two, bend those knees. Pop that back heel up, pelvic tilt forward. Bottom of the pelvis goes forward, top of the pelvis goes back, open and over. Don't let that pelvic tilt. You want to really work that hip flexor with a nice stretch. So healthy for you. Bring it down, pop those heels down, and then Slowly straighten those legs, bring it down and up. Your range. Open up that chest. Take a deep breath. Inhale and exhale. Bring it down. Roll up. And roll those shoulders. Yes, yes, yes. Roll those wrists. Yes. Nice. Good job. Um, okay, we still got a few more things. Okay, open up that chest, roll, roll, roll those shoulders. So get that movement in there. Maybe you have a little bit more movement in those shoulder blades. Oh my gosh, that's wonderful if you do. Ooh, last one. And wiggle those fingers. So I just want to do the ankles and roll those ankles. We're good. We got like one more minute on Lisa time. It's Lisa time. <laughs> it actually says 10 o'clock, but shh. <laughs> Other direction. <laughs> ah. 
and then point and flex. Really get a good point and a good flex out of this one. Point and flex, point and flex. Nice. Yes. Okay, other side. Um, rotate the ankle. Oh, four corners. Like, don't skip out on the, the rolling of the ankle because that's really giving you flexibility in your ankle for walking. Oh, and on my YouTube channel, I have a YouTube channel. You can look it up by my name, but it's Woohoo Seniors. But um, other direction. But I just did a um, thing. I haven't uploaded it yet, so I'm working on it about walking and ankle flexibility so that you could do this one and then do you know go for a walk and it's so much better for you than just going for that walk because we really loosened up our ankles point and flex um so yes but i haven't uploaded it yet so sorry i'm working on it <laughs> But yeah, you could totally do this workout and then go on a, a short walk if you wanted to, or a long walk, and you might feel a difference in your ankles. So let me know if it makes a difference. If you go on a walk today and you feel any different, let me know. All right, relax it out. Either way, if you didn't feel a difference, let me know, give me feedback. Roll those shoulders. Good. Yay! Ooh, I went two minutes over. You can undo your um your mute button by just saying unmute. Thank Yay. you. Thank you guys. That was fun. <laughs> I know it was a little weird today. I got the <laughs> the roller out. Does anybody have like actual rollers? See. Yeah. Oh. Like, is this like brand new to you or have you seen it before where, you know, you have the rollers on your yeah. I'll show you. I've been using it for years. Okay. See? Yes. Was that Susanna? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Was she using that? Yeah. Oh, Mary's got, yeah, Mary's got one. Hold that up, Mary. Yeah. See that? Yes. Yeah. And that's a little softer, so and it doesn't roll away as easy. That's nice. I like that one. Yeah, this is you can, you can use it on your feet, you can use it on your thigh. She showed a small thing. She goes, oh, no. Yeah, like I have a little small one. Here, what she showed us. Oh, I lost it. Where is it? Yeah, like this one is a small one, but you can get them all sizes. I liked Mary's because it's longer and it actually has handles. Oh, too skinny. Yeah. Too skinny. What, Judy? Too skinny. Is this too skinny? No, that's fine. Oh, okay. I'll look yeah. at it again. <laughs> yeah, that all works. That one's really bumpy, so it's more aggressive. But oh. I even do it like I have like stools around my island, and you know the bars on the stool. When I'm sitting on the stool, I'll rub the bottom of my foot on that stool bar. <laughs> it gets it. So anything, you know, you can find things around the house that, that work while you're standing and, you know, you can go, oh, okay, I'm going to get a little massage here. Every little bit helps. Richard's going, you're crazy, Lisa. <laughs> 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 but it works and ankle flexibility is really important too there's a what time it's 10 5 there's a little test though i love this test so there's a little test that for ankle flexibility um if you can get onto the floor don't do it now i'm just showing you and um i did this with al the other day and you bring it low if you can bring that without like popping your heel up You've got ankle flexibility, but you can even do it standing. So you want to, you know, just test how far can I go with that ankle? And maybe ankle flexibility is an issue with, oh, you think it's your hip, but if you don't have the ankle flexibility, that can affect your hip. So that's why I always think like wrist is affected with the shoulder and, you know, it's all, we're all connected. Like that song, what was that song? 
um remember back in the day like your your the head bone is connected to the shoulder bone yes <laughs> that one <laughs> And we used to sing in school. <laughs> so I was like, this is weird. Like, but it's true. We are. So thank you guys. Thank, thank you, Lisa. Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. It was great. Thank you. Anybody doing anything fun today? I'm recording for my virtual uh, choir for Community Chorus of Detroit. And eventually what? it will be on YouTube. Oh my gosh, Judy, you have to keep us posted on that. Thank you. I okay, <laughs> let us know how to like see it so we it's can. It's grueling because it. you have to have the photo recording on your phone. I have to have the director directing us in the computer, and I have to have the headphones on for the music. Oh. It's like I know what those stars go through when they're recording their music. It's like, oh my god, it's hard. It's very difficult. You have your own like studio almost. <laughs> oh yeah, and the lights. I have two lights on either side, so my face is lit up. Oh, so, yes, yeah, so it's a lot. <laughs> I love it. So will we be able to? We'll be able to see it once it's all recorded, right? Yes, on YouTube. Okay. Yeah. You definitely have to keep us posted on that okay, one. Okay, uh -huh. thank you, Lisa. How fun. You have a great day. Thank you. Thanks, thank Lisa. You. Mrs. Patel. Mrs. Patel, what's your first name? My oh, name she's is Saru. Saru. Oh, Saru. yes. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. You guys thank have you. a great day. I hope you had fun. You did. Yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> have to your heart. Have a great day. You guys are awesome. Okay. Bye -bye. You are too. Oh. <laughs> right back at you, girl. Have a great day. I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Oh. All right. Bye, Abraham. Bye, Nancy. Bye, Judy. Bye, Bye. Richard. Um, take care. Oh, Michael. I didn't even see Michael there. Take care, guys. Take care.